It is Tuesday, so it's time for our pet of the week. We're joined by Cody Costra from the Humane Society of the Pikes oh, Peak region. Goodness. And Brady, I always let you take it away with yes. the puppers we bring this in. This is Daisy, and um, Daisy has knows lots of tricks I'm seeing. Like okay, lay down. She was giving high fives earlier. <laughs> um, she is a dog made for TV. We've decided. Yes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Daisy. Yeah, so this pretty girl is Daisy, like you were saying. She's about a six year old Labrador retriever mix that came into HSPPR as an owner surrender. And I mean, she is she such treats. a sweetheart. She is very treat <laughs> She's motivated. Very chill, like like a dog's dog. I like this. Yes, at, <laughs> si at six Even years Tony old. Even Tony pet the dog this week. That's how you know. <laughs> yeah, at six years old, she's an adult dog, so you. You know what you're getting uh, with her already. She's very smart, very trainable. I didn't uh -huh. even have to say down, and she was already going down. And um, I love her name. That's my old dog's name, so I'm I'm partial to a Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's very cute. Um, in her previous home, she did live with other dogs, with other cats, and with children, and did great with all of them. Uh, we just love people so much that we have a little bit of separation anxiety when uh, you leave the house. I say a little bit. I, I mean a lot. We <laughs> we we bark a lot. So if you live in an apartment. She she might not be the best fit, okay. um, but if you work from home yeah. or if you have somebody that's home a lot that can work with her, um, she's very eager to learn. So oh. if you want to, you know, work on uh, crate training and yeah. positive reinforcement with treats like we're doing right she now, she would listen. She the treats, that's for sure. Daisy, <laughs> I've barely gotten to pet you because so you, just want, you just want the treats. There you go. Yeah, this pup is looking to learn <laughs> some new go. tricks, even though she's six years old. So, Cody, we're going to get this dog adopted yeah. for sure. I like to say this she's ahead so of time. Sweet. We're doing this on TV, but we're going to show pictures of Daisy up on our Facebook page. You don't have to adopt oh, Daisy. Geez. Just share those photos to help get her adopted. But I want to dive into August 15th. It's National Microchip Your Pet Day. Let's just talk about that. There's probably a lot of folks watching right now. They've got animals, have never considered getting the microchip. Why is it so important? Yeah, so the microchip uh, is extremely important because if you lose your pet, uh, that is going to be the easiest way to get your pet back to you. So microchips are uh, a, a means of permanent identification. So if your dog has a collar with tags on and they slip out of that collar, you know, and they get Which lost. Which always happens when they get lost. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say. Pull so you're right never. <laughs> so when our when a dog comes into the shelter as a stray, or even when our animal law enforcement team finds a dog, the first thing we do is scan for a microchip. That gives us a special number uh, that can connect us to your name, your phone number, uh, your email address, anything to get in contact with you. So if you've moved anytime recently, you've Bless changed your you. phone Bless number, you, I know the microchip isn't the first thing you think about. So uh, please update your microchip information. That's good. Because uh, that's going to be our best way to get a hold of you. And that's good to do before your pet even gets lost. Bless you. And I, I was shocked by the stat. <laughs> One in three pets get lost. So yep, at least are, once. If yeah. you've got at least once, that's an uh, husky out than there. Once. It's like yeah. <laughs> ten plus times. But no, well, Cody, anything else you wanted to add about Microchip Day or Daisy here? Uh, just if you lose your pet, uh, make sure you check out our website at hsppr.org. There's a lost your pet tab right at the top. Uh, you can fill out a lost pet report, or you can come by and look through our shelter, uh, look through the kennels, and see what dogs we have too. That way, if you did lose your pet, you know you can hopefully make a match and have a happy reunion. Exactly. And a shout out to any neighbors who come across lost pets. Start on that yeah. neighborhood like social media page. Hey, is this your pup? If it, some time has gone by, take him to the shelter. So Cody, you are awesome. Daisy, you're you're a good pup. You're a good dog. You, you gotta get Daisy. adopted. Seriously, We're this dog wants Daisy to learn home. so many tricks. So adopt her if you Just can. Just make sure you have extra money for treats because she <laughs> she likes the treats. We will not <laughs> say no. Well, hey, as we head to break, a reminder: if you want a link to the Humane Society's website, really easy. Just visit kktv.com. Click the Find It tab. We got your link there, so you can check out all the pets available for adoption. We'll be right back with your full forecast after the break.